Hey everybody, Jake here from Bearded Gear, and I have a super exciting box to open. They're all exciting, but this one is particularly exciting for uh, really one reason. Um, so this is a brand new unreleased ProTech, and the way I understand it, I'm one of only like two channels that has one of these, which is just really, really cool of ProTech to get me an advanced copy of this knife. I did pay for it, let me say that, but I was able to get one early so that I could share it and review it, and uh, I'm really, really excited for that. So when my buddy over at ProTech reached out to me and asked if I'd want to check one of these out, I said, absolutely. <laughs> um, so not only is it a new ProTech, but it's a new ProTech from a designer that I like. It's a Les George design, and it's a knife that I've had as a folder, and this is a fixed blade, which I've also never had a ProTech fixed blade. I want to say... I could be totally crazy and just remembering completely wrong, but I, I think a California Custom Knife Show, like two or three years ago, uh, they had a, a fixed blade at the ProTech table, and I don't remember what model it even was or anything, but I feel like I held a fixed blade from ProTech at one point. I don't even remember enough about it to know what it was, though. So um, this is the Les George designed SBR as a fixed blade. And SBR stands for short bladed rock eye, which means it's the scaled down version of the Les George rock eye. Um, I have had and reviewed on the channel the SBR folder. I've had the rock eye, which they've just re-released now in S35VN, and it's awesome. Um, so I've had both of those on the channel. So this should feel really, really familiar, but it's a fixed blade. So I'm stoked to check it out and uh, see what it's all about. These FedEx packages do have a pull tab thing, but it's no fun. We're a knife channel, right? Oh, the tip on the Norseman. Uh, it's abrupt. It's a, it's a nice way to say that it's thick and I don't like it. <laughs> Alright, let's see here. Oh, there we go. It's a box within a FedEx pouch. That's awesome. <laughs> uh, so, you can tell this one was for me. It says bearded gear on it. Let's bust into this. All right. There we go. Got it. All right. So I have this so early that I don't even have a box for it yet, which is kind of awesome. It's literally just in here in some like foam wrap and then this little baggy thing um all right so let's bust into this oh sweet now something that is unique to me having this to review right now um, is i have two sheaths for it that's not typically going to be the way that this knife is sold um but they were kind enough to send me both of what the sheath, sheath options are going to be for the end consumer so that I could see both and talk about both, which, again, awesome of them. Um, so this is the Kydex sheath, and it's fitted really, really well. It's got this belt loop system thing on it back here. It does look like yeah, you can kind of slip this over your belt if you wanted to. Um, right now it's set up for vertical carry, does look like you could easily reposition this for horizontal carry, which I'll probably do because this is absolutely in EDC size fixed blade territory for me. And I like to carry EDC fixed blades on the front of my belt, horizontal, kind of appendix carry. That's the go-to for me. So this G10 is already finished really cool. So before I pull it out of the sheath, let me show you the other sheath, which uh, frankly, I'm even more excited about. <laughs> Yes. All right. So these are, I forget who they have make these. I'll have to look at my messages. I'll talk about that in the full review. But this is a leather sheath. And on this guy, you have this clip. All right now it's set up for vertical, just like the Kydex one is. But I was told that you could also set up this one horizontal so we're going to be trying that because i think it's going to be awesome um and yeah I, I like this style of clip where you can pull it up and over your belt and it really i find has great retention these style of clips but this is also just a classy looking sheath um it feels kind of holster-esque really nice thick sturdy leather 
and uh, it's finished really well. So this I'm excited about. Um, I don't know which sheath I'll end up liking better in actual use, so I'm gonna try both, which is kind of the reason why I have both here. But uh, yeah, both cool looking op options right off the bat. This one does feel more kind of tactical. It's definitely a little slimmer, but uh, yeah, we'll see. So let's look at the knife, shall we? Nice retention in the sheath. It's got some schmutz on it from the brand new sheath. Let me wipe that on my pants real quick. All right, so this ought to look familiar if you've seen the SBR before. It is literally just a fixed blade version of the SBR, and that is gorgeous. So this one is the satin finish. There's gonna be two options basically on the finish. This is the satin, and then there's gonna be stonewash. From what I understand, this is what I've been told, and it's from memory at the moment. Um, I'll write down some notes when I do the full review, but this one is satin, and the way I understand it, the satin is going to be the one that comes with the leather sheath. Let's see how that looks in there. That's tight right now. I imagine it's gonna break in, but that looks pretty sweet. That is slick. Um, so it should be typically, I think, from what I understand, the, this sheath will come with this finish. And then the Kydex sheath will typically have, I think they said it would be the stonewashed one. So this is the kind of classier looking one. And uh, they let me pick. I, I wanted this finish. I feel like this, I'm a sucker for satin over stonewash, typically. This feels cool. The size is awesome as a fixed blade. I just barely get my pinky on there, which is perfect <laughs> to me for an EDC fixed blade because I don't want any more size than I need um, and I don't want any less either. Like this is just perfectly proportioned for my medium glove hands to get a full purchase on and feel like it's capable. Yeah, this is nice. I feel like this translates really well into a fixed blade design. Um, one thing you'll see too, this G10 is machined in a really cool way. So it's got like a really grippy texture to it without being aggressive. This whole thing feels classy to me. I don't know, it's like a gentleman's EDC fixed blade. Really, really cool. Um, so yeah, it's marked S35VN. I'm assuming all of them will be an S35VN. And then this one says FPR number 95. So I'm assuming that means first production run, knife number 95. That's cool as well. That's right down here on this tang. I don't know if they'll number these forever. Um, I know like on one of my Malibus, I have um, production run one, knife number two. I actually had, I just sold that to my brother <laughs> under the condition that if he ever decides to let it go, that he'll sell it right back to me. Um, because I love that knife. But I, I have an all black Malibu and that one's not even numbered. And I think a lot of the new ones that are coming out aren't. So Protect tends to do that at least on the first run. I feel like they used to do it on subsequent runs as well, but now they probably just make so many knives that it doesn't make sense to keep numbering every single one that comes off the line. Yeah, this is sweet. I really like Les George designs. I feel like most of his designs that I've actually had personally have been from Protech at this point uh, between the SBR and the Rock Eye. I've actually owned multiple SBRs and now the SBR fixed blade. This is super, super nice. Yeah, this is really cool. So um, I'll dive into the details on this guy as I do my first impressions and review. Um, I'll talk about pricing and all of that when I've got it all in front of me. But tonight I just wanted to get it out of the box. And uh, yeah, this is cool. I like too that this jimping back here is partially under the scales. So you feel it, but you're not actually digging into it like you would if it was fully exposed. The whole thing locks in. And this handle feels skinnier like this way than the folder feels to me. Yeah, it really feels the hand well though because it's like these scales are kind of rounded. This is cool. I'm liking it. I, uh, I've been really, really excited for this one to come in and I can't thank Protec enough. I, uh, they're one of those brands that I'm always floored to be able to get product from to review. And uh, like I said, I did pay them for this product. This wasn't sent for free. So, um, I, <laughs> I retain the ability, uh, even more so to, to be a little bit objective because I spent my own money on this. So there's, there's, 
I don't know, there's no hiding that. But yeah, this is cool. I like it. All right, it's out of the box. We'll be doing a first impressions within the next couple of days and then a full review in uh, probably a, a, maybe even two weeks. EDC fixed blades I don't carry every single day typically, um, but they make it in pocket enough, or not in pocket, on belt enough that it won't take me that long either. This is cool. I like the way the Kydex fits. We'll see if this breaks in though, because right now it's super tight. Ooh, but if it breaks in and kind of molds to the knife a little bit, I don't know. We'll see which of these, which sheath wins. These are both really nice. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. This is the SBR fixed blade. It's coming soon from ProTech, and uh, we'll have some more details soon for you. Thanks, guys.